This is a story that keeps giving. We're back with more updates on the Yvonne Nelson, Shakode, and more people chiming into this whole brouhaha. Anyways, let's get right into this whole story. If you saw the previous video I did, I talked to you about the response from Shakode when people were thinking, oh my goodness, okay, it's been days, Shakode is not going to say anything and whatnot. Some persons were saying he should speak, he should speak. And finally, he released that I'll call it a diss track where he said Yvonne Nelson is for the streets. If she's going to talk, let her talk about all the men that she's been banging, smashing and all of that. He wasn't even sure he was responsible for it. A lot he said on that. Okay, so Yvonne and that uh, song was actually titled Try Me. So, of course, Yvonne Nelson saw it and responded back. And this is Yvonne Nelson's response to what Shakode had to say. She said, in my book, I narrated how you got me pregnant how you couldn't wait for me to get rid of it how you drove me to have an abortion as usual you want to use rap to rubbish a pain a young woman felt we both have daughters let's see what life throws at them hashtag thried you okay because he said his song is try me so now she's saying hashtag try me and this line that she said we both have daughters let's see what life throws at them i think this is really deep and yvonne feels kind of disappointed now the internet is divided people are saying okay you want to do a tell-all book some persons are saying if you want to do a tell-all book go ahead do your tell-all book but don't go about mentioning people's name that yvonne nelson shouldn't have mentioned shakodia's name okay that people are forgetting the fact that she actually made him look like a murderer because she said she did an abortion for him and both of them actually planned it and carried it out and now that he calls her a whore everybody's offended but anyway another ghana actor which is also a nollywood he's a, he's a gollywood slash nollywood actor that's prince david osai decided to chime in and he said childish tantrum never let the kid in you destroy the king in you whoever sleeps with a woman gets gets her pregnant and don't own up as a man goes about labeling her a whore is the dumbest asshole ever she was a whore yet you shagged her unprotected got her pregnant god have mercy on those supporting tomfoolery hashtag respect women and uh, there's a comment beneath this i'm just going to also add that to this and someone here said any man who there's a woman is a coward captain smart wait in yvonne nelson's okay shakodi and bruhaha and all of that anyways so now a lot of people are kind of looking at uh prince david osai somehow because people are saying okay because uh yvonne nelson is your friend is that why you're calling out shakodi but didn't you notice that Sh um your friend yvonne nelson was the one that first mentioned shakodi's name in her so-called tell all book and that she didn't need to do that she could have just maybe abbreviated his name describe the person and let just keep people guessing but she just kept on mentioning people's name and all of that 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 was not a right thing to do but now the thing is from what Eva nelson wrote in the book and from what shakodia is responding it seems like they both don't really agree shakodia is saying okay Eva nelson was still in school and didn't want to keep the pregnancy and all of that but Eva nelson is saying that 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 shakodia said is not true because she was already in her final year and she has already finished writing her final exams and everything she was only waiting for her certificate so that was not even a thing and even also added that he was already seeing someone else that he was getting ready to marry so i believe his the wife his present wife is the woman that yvonne was actually seeing so what is your take leave us a comment below let's get this conversation going and if you are a Ghanaian person you come across this video comment below share let us know what are your thoughts ghana people pull up pull up pull up come on come on i, I, I don't see you people pulling up to this conversation okay this is deep and Yvonne, we have to really say Yvonne is brave because one thing is for you to go through a whole lot of stuff like this and decide to write about it because you will agree with me that Yvonne knew when she was writing this book that a lot of people were going to drag her. A lot of people were going to judge her, even those that lived the kind of life that she was living then. I believe she's living a different life now. But 
they are still going to have something to say. You know, when you put something out there in the internet, you put it for the whole world to see. Everybody will have an opinion, okay? And also, let me know in the comment section, do you think Shakur Diaz should have just kept quiet and not say anything, okay? If that's your thought, let me know also. Or do you think his response is okay? Uh, he responded in the music. It wasn't as direct as she just wrote a book calling his name, but he just sang and all of that. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comment section. Drop it as a comment so we know what is really in your minds. Because right now the internet is super, super divided. A lot of people. But another thing I noticed is a lot of artists are not speaking up. Okay, uh, Shatawale spoke up. I mentioned in the other video. Shatawale is on the side of Shakur here saying that he doesn't believe anything that Yvonne Nelson said in that book. That he does not believe that Yvonne Nelson will ever that he does not believe that Shakur here will ever ever do a thing like that. That if something like that had happened he knows that Shakodia would have asked Yvonne to keep it. And there's no way if uh, Shakodia would have run away or run away from his responsibilities. So Yvonne Nelson is not telling the truth. So a whole lot of people have one or two things to say about this whole situation. But the thing is, one thing that we can all agree on from what from the response coming from Shakodia, because before Shakodia spoke, some people were thinking Yvonne is not telling the truth that something like that didn't happen. Maybe they dated, maybe they had something going, but she was never pregnant for him and aborted and all of that. But now that he did this song, responding back to her, he actually acknowledged that yes, he was seeing her and she actually took in for him, but according to him that she was the one that didn't want to keep that even when he said let them let him get his doctor involved let his doctor come and assess the whole situation and they will know what what they're gonna do the doctor uh yvonne responded and said that uh that she is going to all right so when he said they should go see his doctor let his doctor assess yvonne nelson actually told him that she actually has a friend that knows where uh there's a good doctor that can take care of the situation so all of this he was kind of hinting that she really didn't want to even think about keeping it because of school then according to him but she is saying i was done with my exam so that wouldn't have even been a thing because i was only waiting for my certificate and uh all of that so let us know in the comment section do you really think that uh, Shakodia is telling us the whole truth or you think Yvonne is the one telling the truth or Yvonne is not telling us the whole truth and Shakodia is the one telling the whole truth? Now we have to keep this conversation going because it doesn't seem like this is going away anytime soon. The book is selling out. Yvonne Nelson made a post today asking people to be patient with her. So let us know what you